hey guys so welcome back to my channel if you hear noise it is raining outside it is pouring outside hence the reason why I have this on and this is really nice on my complexion like I'm really liking it but this is gonna be a long video it's gonna be a very chatty video and in today's video hi guys if you are new welcome my name is Michelle I do beauty fashion and lifestyle videos here on my channel so if you are into that type of content please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to send me a comment send comment below <laughs> And yeah, let's get into this life update. So today is the, do I need to give you guys a date? No, I don't. So today is, it's sometime in March. I don't know when you guys are going to see this video, when I'll be able to edit it, but it's sometime in March and now I'm connected to iPhone. Yeah. So I, it's sometime in March and I someone asked me if I'm not gonna do a one-year update so I was like oh yeah I totally forgot about that and then also Shay Ray hey girl she asked me to do a comparison lifestyle between Trinidad and Antigua and I'm gonna just incorporate it into this video so if you guys are new here to my channel I am Antiguan. Yes, I'm from Antigua and Barbuda. If y'all don't know what Antigua, where Antigua and Barbuda is, it is a small island, beautiful, 365 beaches in the Caribbean Sea. I'll leave a link to Google. If you want to know about all of the extra things about Antigua, you can Google it. I also want to go home. I can't wait to go home so I'm able to vlog and really show my subbies my island. But yeah, so I'm... Um, part Antigua and part Dominican actually so for my Dominican massive hey what's up <laughs> but yeah so so um I was asked to do a comparison between Antigua and Trinidad and I was like you know what let me just do my life update one time in this video because yeah I don't have that much to say and that much to give but you know you guys want the life update so here goes all right so so I moved last year March, last year February actually to Trinidad for work. Um, so now Trinidad is my second or my third, Trinidad is like my third home um, island wise. So I have been living here for a year. So as some of you may know, when I moved, I moved before the actual pandemic and before the actual lockdown, which I didn't expect, you know, none of us expected to live be living in a pandemic for like a year and some maybe going into two years right so last year when i moved here i had all these plans i wanted to do so much things i was so excited to just be moving starting afresh being all brand new and stuff and so much has happened between then but good things so what I will say is work is good. Um, I'm really, really loving my job. I'm not but um, yeah, so I moved last year and moved mid-pandemic. Did not expect to be here in a pandemic. Thought that I was able to, would have been going out and doing like this year I would have done TNT Carnival and all of that good stuff. But we're still in a pandemic. Um, but some of the things that has changed is me. I've changed. I feel like I've grown a lot since I have been on my own in Trinidad. Um, but in all of that as well, I now know who I am a little bit more as a woman. And I don't know if it's because I moved, but I just think it's growth. As you get older, you just look at life differently and you just see things differently. Um, so that's uh, some some personal updates also I moved places which I'm hoping this is not gonna happen to me again um, and yeah I had to move because my, my, my landlord previous the previous apartment I was in she you know she told me she's selling and I was so bummed out I tried to make her feel guilty to you know reconsider but she you know it is what it is but I did find a new place and somewhere that I really like and affords me to me 
to do a lot of YouTube content very easily. Initially where I was, um, it was kind of like some areas were like, like really dark, but in this apartment, the colors on the wall, walls are things that I like, and it was just easy for me to just set up. As you can see, I have a background, which is really just my closet behind there. So this time around, since I was actually here, because initially when I moved to Trinidad, I did not do an apartment viewing. I viewed the apartment from online. I'm risky like that. I'm a risky person, I'm a risk taker. So I just looked at the pictures, I was like, okay, this is the one I'm gonna get. But this time, as you guys would have seen on my channel, I was able to go apartment hunting. So I really liked that. Um, I got the opportunity to see a lot of things. And this, where, I'm, where I am now, is the one that I chose. Um, what else? So I've moved since last year. What else has happened? I've gained weight since... <laughs> I've gained weight since last year. Um, what else? Um, I have lived here since a year and haven't been out, so that's an update. I haven't been home or anything like that, which is sad. Um, I'm still single, so that's an update. Um, anything else significant been happening? And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I don't have that much to say, but what I will say, someone did ask me about a comparison between lifestyle in Antigua and the lifestyle in Trinidad. So I'm gonna just speak about that just a little bit. So Antigua and Trinidad, they're both islands. Um, Trinidad is bigger than Antigua, so that is one thing. Trinidad is more a little bit more on the developed side in reference to like having malls, ha a lot of high-rise buildings, actually having like a city city um they're more um modern their infrastructure they have some bad infrastructure some good infrastructure i think they're working on that um and you know in antigua it's a small it's a smaller island but they're kind of like similar um the people are very different to me i think that trinidadians the customer service is the customer service in Trinidad is a little bit different than in Antigua. I thought Antiguans were rude, but moving to Trinidad, they're not. Antiguans are actually really nice. So please, yeah. Um, because Trinidad is not a tourist-based economy. It is more of an industry-based. So people don't... So to me, what I get is that they don't have that tourist pleasantry they don't need to have it because at the end of the day you know they don't really deal with tourism Tour tourism is not their their, their, their their thing so i think that that's that was a big 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 that's a big big thing for me that i noticed um trinidadians are just very much different and yeah that's is there anything else comparison wise um, what I like though, you as a young professional, you can like buy a condo, you can um, buy like an apartment, live in a complex, um, in a, like a gated community and I like that about Trinidad where Antigua doesn't have that. Um, Antigua does have the fact that you can like buy a home, build a house and stuff but like you know living in a complex and just having to worry about like your space we don't really have that on the on the island um the beach the beaches are different so in trinidad they call them bays and in antigua we call them beaches but as you guys would have seen from like my previous vlogs if you haven't looked at my previous beach vlog please go check that out but the beach in trinidad is a lot different than the beaches in antigua antigua beaches i will admit are more beautiful but the beaches here are nice um they have a lot of activities on the beaches the water is freezing because their beaches i think are more atlantic ocean based so they have like high waves whereas you know in the car in, in antigua which is in the caribbean sea the way you know we have very calm warm waters their waters are very cold here like i could not even go get in the water i just really like the fact that i could just be on the beach and go, get a little tan and that's it like i didn't need to do all the extra stuff but i do like their beaches the island is really big so the beaches the beach is long length of beach um what else 
can I compare? They have a lot of crime here and Antigua doesn't. Um, so you have to be very careful here. You have to watch your back. You have to, you know, just be cognizant and be aware of what is happening on the island. I think that that's important. But people are about their business. People are about their life, their livelihood. So it's very, a little bit more fast paced than Antigua. Um, but both islands are nice, good islands and it's so weird because we're all island people but we are so different we have different traits the, the way we speak is different um they think i'm jamaican <laughs> they always ask me if you're jamaican especially when i start talking dialect like they don't understand what i'm saying which i like sometimes because more of a tap me like a dialect i'm gonna have time for, for for their talk slow and yeah so and they like when I talk it too. So they'll be like, can you just talk? And that makes me feel weird. So I was like, what am I supposed to say? But yeah, so those are just like some small comparisons. But I do like it here. And I think I'm going to be here for a while. Um, to be honest with you guys. For work especially. And it's nice here. But Antigua is home. Antigua will always be home. Antigua is still beautiful. Antigua is actually nice as well. And I hope that I get to travel to show my subbies, um, my island, where I'm actually from. And I hope I also get to go to Dominica and kind of show you that. Diana, I'm waiting for a date, <laughs> even if the Trinidad borders are still closed. But that's basically my life update and my little TT update, comparison, chit chat. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I get to show you guys Antigua. Hopefully I get to travel the region. I really want to go to some islands in the region. Let me know which island you're from. Even if, if you're from Antigua, then obviously. But if you're from like a different island, let me know. I'll definitely put the islands on my bucket list. I've been to St. Lucia, but I am coming back to St. Lucia. I know I have St. Lucian followers, sub subscribers. I'm definitely coming back to St. Lucia because I didn't get to spend as much time that I wanted to. So I'm definitely gonna be reaching out to you. I think Michelle, I have a sub, her name is Michelle. I think she's from St. Lucia. So I'll definitely be reaching out to you, girl, when I'm coming to St. Lucia. But, you know, I do wanna go to other islands and experience other islands because it is, we all think that our islands are so similar, they're not different, but to me there is still differences, significant differences in different islands. And that's just so amazing to see the different culture, like bread and cheese is something that we like in Antigua, but in Trinidad you don't really find that. So the culture is just so very, very, very different, but still the same um, because we understand the whining and the the soca and the partying we have all of that those kind of traits even if trinidadians party on a different level to antiguans but yeah so that's basically where i am going to end this video that's basically my life update not not much has been happening nothing significant as yet um so yeah that is it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed this long chatty video here on my channel and let me know in the comments where y'all are from and let me know what y'all if let me know where y'all want to see me travel to as well when this pandemic is over and let me know which island should be first <laughs> after Antigua and Dominica the third island that should be on my list but yeah I will see you guys in my next upload thank you guys so so much for watching and yeah Talk to you soon. Bye.